information courtesy of Hypebeast regarding the um, Salihi Bembry New Balance 574s. And I gotta be honest, they look a bit shit, mate. After all the leaks that we see recently, right, of people wearing them and people, you know, sucking on the bottom of the, sucking on the hill and kind of using it as a whistle or using it as a way to kind of drink your tears away from stuff that you've not been able to get on sneakers app and shit. Um, seeing the final image of what it actually looks like, I've got, I've got to be honest, especially on the foot, it doesn't look that great. It's one of those odd shoes that actually look better in the product shot vis-a-vis -vis on foot. From what I've seen so far, again, I don't know. And until I see somebody actually purchase a pair, I might change my mind. But similar to like um the Sakai's, right? In all the iterations from the waffles to wherever they are, I thought the Sakai's looked better on foot with regular people wearing them than they looked in any of the leaked shots I saw in product shots. They look really terrible. The moment you saw someone actually wearing them in real life, you're like, oh, that looks actually quite sick. Same goes for the kind of um undercover waffles as well that came out. I forgot with the kind of shock thing at the back of the hill on the hill cap. On the hill cup, sorry. But these look fairly shit. I've got to be honest. They don't look that great. Um, These 574s, they look kind of horrible. I'm not going to lie. Um, Maybe it's just me. Um, But I want to keep the I want to keep the same energy. I like them when I saw the leaked images of them. But the final pieces of them don't look that great. The clothing looks pretty interesting and cool. I think I'd wear some of these hats to go running in and shit. Um, the outdoors wears, again, for, for him as a designer, I think it's cool that he's always kind of doing, trying to do different and interesting things. Um, That's always really cool. But that colorway of that shoe basically exposes how maybe terrible they do look because the gray is obviously the best color the gray colorway of the five is a kind of classic new balance colorway but this color just like it makes them look again they're really bulbous which is not an issue but just in terms of aesthetically looking they just don't look that great i don't know they just look uh, maybe it's just me um this color looks quite nice it's kind of like atmos um vaulty pinky sort of colorway looks really nice in that regard but again he's not really styling them the best and then this one just doesn't look that great on the foot man i don't know maybe it's just me they don't look that nice i don't get the again i don't know what this is about whether or not it's a it's a sneaker heads you know um comments or unite sort of whistle in the back of the hill i'm not sure what's going on there um but as just the pure first impressions on foot they're a little bit underwhelming. I have to be honest, a little bit underwhelming from all the leaks we saw. And that usually is the issue when you leak something for so long, right? Like when people finally do see them, they either get fatigued or they just get like, they just convince themselves out of getting them because they're probably not going to get them anyway, right? That's it. Um, text here from Hypebeast following up on his water to be oh sorry water to be water be the guide to uh, to 2002 r that dropped in 20 june Sally Bembry is broadening his collaborative horizons um this spooky season with more collaborations with new balance the multifaceted designer has applied his own creative touch to the new balance 574 yurt so i'm assuming it's a new model the new balance are introducing and they're used to using um mr Bembry as an avenue to kind of as a kind of you know person to kind of introduce it to the market so for sure we're going to see this shoe everywhere it's going to be you know every single shoe rack all over the place so you're going to get pretty tired of this shape and this silhouette pretty quickly and it's interesting that he would do this colorway as a collaboration because it's a fairly bog standard run of the mill new balance colorway right the grays with the whites and the um you know whatever it may be because you're more likely than not this colorway is going to get repeated again because this is what new balance always do of course it's going to have some you know some omissions maybe the, they're not going to have these little tabs with his name on it and shit but we're going to see that colorway again so it's interesting that he waits well, kind of waste not waste opportunity i guess waste kind of to do that but it does also speak for the fact that a lot of shoes now at the moment there is a tendency to kind of go really base not say basic but to go really simple with a lot of the colorways right maybe five six colors max um you know not many patterns and not many different material choices i think that's really cool as a again as a sneakerhead myself as an avid sneaker that actually buys you know sneakers that people don't necessarily like and then tries to make them look cool and interesting that's what you kind of like to see in those kind of shoes you don't necessarily always like the kind of what the what the dunk year of the dog kind of stuff that just looks like it's been run through a flipping um photoshop editor and just spat out with some nonsense in it right or some nft flipping ir generator you want something that looks actually classic something that looks kind of you know you can wear day to day and this is obviously it but it's interesting too because you know we're definitely going to see that colorway get repeated anyway digress the shoes 
um, of this assortment are certainly the head headlining products. Um, it's here that the former Yeezy and Versace designer pulls together elements of the New Balance 574 and 990 V3, test run 0.300, and the Archive 755 to fashion a semi chunky silhouette that bears and underlies the shaggy suede overlays. Now, it would be really impressive. I'll take a lot of my stuff back, criticism if you tell me that he designed this shoe from the ground up if that's what the text is saying that he took all these elements of his shoe and put them together and made his own like new balance that like, this is a fresh model if that's the case then he deserves a lot of props because this is fairly decent looking considering he had the keys to the car because that's what happens if someone gives you the keys to the factory and the design studio and you get to make exactly what you want i trust me i've worked in nike id sometimes when you give people too many options they just make complete shit so the fact that he was able to kind of get all the keys to the factory and design what he designed now is is testament of how sick he is as a designer. Again, I don't know if that's true. It says it's a quote. It says, you already need many different tools when venturing outdoors, says Benbury. The New Balance 574 year was created so that you don't have to worry about remembering every item because we've managed, we've merged two um, into one with a whistle on the sneaker. Weaving this theme into the camping video makes me excited to see how my audience takes the campaign at face value when I introduce the year. Okay, so it's a whistle that you could use to what? Alert the police that you're getting eaten by a bear or something? Or to tell the bitches where to come? Or to alert the boys where the drinks are at. Like, what is that whistle for? But I guess it's going to be used in all different ways. That's going to be more interesting to see. And also at the kicks, there'll be a range of tees, hoodies, pants, and caps that are designed with Salihi's signature fingerprint um, graphics and hiking-inspired colors, along with the batch of trail-ready accessories. Mark your calendars for an October 22nd release um, via New Balance and note that the kicks will retail at $150, which is pretty decent, man. Apparel costs between $60 and $140. Either are props for that. Good, good on you for creating stuff well-priced that people can get a hold of and accessories are priced at thirty dollars. Okay, cool to see. We'll play a bit of the video here of the little campaign video. See what that's saying. Hopefully, it's not got your copyrighted music. Please, please, please. That's like Jesse. You that all the girls like, isn't it? Yeah. All right, cool. Jackets and stuff tied in. The jacket looks nice. Yeah. R.I.P. ASAP Yams. He would have been perfect for this, wouldn't it? You heard? You heard? Oh, that fleece looks nice. So that's a cap in it. I'm not going to lie. The stuff looks much better in motion, isn't it? In a still image. I'm not going to lie. But the shoes look a little bit... I don't know, man. When the bitch is cool, it's like, that's like when the, that text is in it, when the girl says, um, I'm on my way. Like, <laughs> that's the <that's> whistle. <laughs> that colorway was nice as well, that one he had. It's a pretty sick advert, I'm not going to lie. The jackets are sick, man. The, the coats are mad looking, isn't it? Oof, that's tough. Oh, that colorway is hard. I'm not going to lie. I take it back. That colorway is hard. That, that other one's hard. That white and pink colorway is fucking banging. That jacket is my favorite, I think, of the cold collection. Okay, nice. I like it. 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 And not a single English word spoken in the whole entire advert right so this might <laughs> go to show what direction he's trying to go in in it universal collection with new balance um you know got some brothers and sisters of course in the advert to kind of loosen up a little bit i like that as well i like that new balance is basically trying to um uh, what would you call it? shake up or refresh their image somewhat right usually back in the day when i was collecting or buying new balances there would be these images of like these old white ladies sewing them in the factories right 60 years old knitting these new balance shoes now they're trying to turn away from that obviously they know it's, you know it's made in new balance but you rarely see pictures of like factory workers wearing remember that was always the thing they did they loved showing factory workers like you know holding a pair of like you know um, atmos or mitre new balances or cricket on new balances and wearing them is like I don't care. Do you know what I mean? That Bradley from Stoke on Trent is making these shoes. I don't really give a shit. Um, it's not really cool. It doesn't make me want to buy them. They look shit on them. They're probably going to sell them anyway and just pay for his beers. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't really care. But it's cool to see them kind of stepping into the, you know, 
into the new world and moving things a bit forward. So definitely cool to see October 20th, I think, is it? October 20th, October 22nd? October 22nd. Again, price 150 US dollars. Nice pricing, great colorways. Again, the greys I'm not really that big of a fan of. I thought they don't, they don't look as great as they should be. But that colorway there, that pinky one, that one there. Ooh, that one, that one's banging. That one's tough. Let's see what Guam. And again, the jackets and the coats look sick. The coat that, that Jesse guy's wearing is fucking banging. I'm definitely a big fan of that one. So yeah, let's see what I'm going for that one when it does finally drop. Yeah, he's doing great things, isn't it? He? He's doing great things.